Yo, so now guys, so this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, other thing is click the link in the description for the funded um, Apex referral accounts. They're 90% off. They're only 90% off until I think July 4th. So we recommend getting those. I know a lot of people who don't even know what that is got a few accounts and um, they're glad I've told them about it. So um, very, very cheap. So that's just very good practice. Other thing is I'm moving over to WAP um, instead of Patreon. So if you want to join me at free live streams every day, um, where I live trade, live teach, and just every say everything about the market, um, oil, gold, uh, forex, um, just click the link in the description for that. My lifetime is back on sale for three one time three fifty um, instead of seven hundred, so it's on fifty percent sale right now. So. Um, that's all I got for now, um, and yeah, let's get into the video. So I'm just gonna be going over um, a lecture on some liquidity stuff, just going over buy side and sell side and how you know when they're gonna hit. Um, it's gonna be kind of a mix of liquidity slash how you know where the draw on liquidity is, um, and this is it. I would say this is about 90% accurate. Um, so if I go to NQ, okay, you could do this on NQ or ES. Basically. Um, if you haven't seen my conditions video, I set these conditions, right? And let's say we are holding a inverse or a normal free rally gap. So in this situation right here, we are holding a bullish free rally gap. Well, what does that mean for price? That means if we're holding and we get a nice reaction off a of bullish free rally gap, that means the draw and liquidity or buy side where, um, where sell stops right, rest would be at the top. So all the market does is it, it comes in these inefficiencies and if you see a nice reaction, even if it's in hindsight, you still know where the draw is, which leaves you an option to go to the one minute time frame and maybe look for like another one minute entry, whether it be like, so you can enter here, let's say. And um, just, again, lots of different ways to do it, okay? I have see right here, this would obviously not be a good entry because we hit the high of day and you never wanna, enter a, a trade after you hit a high day you probably would have but the good entry would have been here you can see this is the bullish for a rally gap um inverse which i think i did alert this in my stream um but this is just an example where okay you see us holding a four hour for a rally gap so you know the draw and liquidity has to be up okay and i kind of say that this is the condition for myself um so that's one way to see it Another thing is if we kind of inverse a fair value gap. So maybe I don't see a fair value gap here, but let's say I see a candle start to really violate this. If I see that, well then I would say the draw liquidity would still be the next high. So um, that's another way you can determine the draw liquidity. For example, if you look at like today, um, in my index commentary, I basically look, said this. I said, if we violate um, where was it? I said if we violated, uh, I think it was in the five minute maybe. Oh, it was on ES actually. So this is on ES. I said if we violated the 15 minute fair value gap, price would draw to the highs. So this is the 15 minute fair value gap we're talking about. And you can see when we close above it, right? This is more of a hindsight thing, but we still have not hit this high. So you know where the draw is, we close above it. So now you go to the lower time frame, look for like a long setup, which um, gave you a couple opportunities, not super clean, but you could have taken this inverse, right? This inverse breakout, or even something like uh, I bet you there's like an order block here. I think, yeah, there's an order block right here. So there's an order block also supporting this. So there's an order block. There's an inverse for a valley gap in the five minute as well. Um, so you can see right here, and there's kind of an order block that lined up with that. So multiple opportunities, and even if you don't get in before this break. Okay, now when you see us violate this, the draw on liquidity or buy side liquidity should be this high. Okay, um, and a lot of people are like, well, that's hindsight. Well, no, it's not hindsight because you see us violate it and still not hit it, which means there's still opportunity left to go along it and try to reach the buy set up here. Okay, um, another example from last night is we got really close to this buy side, didn't hit it, which often means we usually come back to it. So like right here, you can see we broke above this inversion, created a new fair rally gap. And even if this is a hindsight thing, you can see, okay, well, I now see this green, big green candle. We're reacting to this fair rally gap. So where should the draw should be? The draw should be to the next high. Okay. 
and this is just one way I love to determine the draw and even though sometimes you might have oh you might think this is sell side below which I thought you can't fade a reaction to a fair value gap if that makes sense so if you see like if you see us really react nicely off a of fair value gap and go in the opposite way of where you may think sell side is do not fade that reaction because a lot of times no matter where we're delivering from if it's like a fair value gap a lot of times we'll go hit the next high so just be aware or just be mindful of that um, even though this does look like a lot of engineered sell side liquidity, it's really not because we have this really nice reaction out this fair value gap with a second fair value gap, meaning what? Meaning that um, the draw is this high. Okay, but what if, right? Let's say, let's say we violated this. Let's say price came down and we got a candle close below this. Okay, then I would have been confident that price would go hit this low okay but the price go violate this no it did not right and all real this really is is okay is price violating a fair value gap yes or no if it is the draw is probably in that direction well your other question is is price respecting this fair value gap if it is the price is probably in that same direction so this won't be accurate 100 percent time but it, it helps so much to figure out the draw like just in this example right here this is just a one minute chart was price violating this fair value gap? Yes, it was. So that means the draw is probably up. And that's when you go to the higher time frame and be like, okay, let's see if there's an obvious high or high day or whatever. Um, right? Same thing with like all these fair value gaps. If we were truly bearish, you probably would have rejected here, but we did not. So the fact that we violated that means your bias is probably wrong and the draw is probably up. And it's not saying, oh, the draw is up two more points. It's saying there's probably a higher high where there's still five, ten handles to go. Um, so that's a little bit about liquidity and how you kind of determine the draw. Um, hopefully this video helped you a little bit. I made a video on this before, but I just wanted to kind of reiterate that and how I kind of use just fair value gaps and just liquidity. Um, it's basically four variables. Fair value gaps, inverse fair value gaps, buy side and sell side, right? Um, so thank you guys for watching. Um, DM me if you're interested in the one-time lifetime payment. Um, it's 50% off. I don't know when it's going to be like that again. I took it away for a while, so... Uh, mainly doing it because of July 4th and then I don't really know when there's going to be another high holiday but appreciate you guys taking the time to grind these videos for you guys who grind these videos and aren't in my discord or aren't in my paid service and just take my free education for what it is um, huge huge props to you okay and I guess I bet you a lot of you don't even comment on videos but huge props for you keep watching them I, I promise it'll help I've, been, I've gotten a lot of DMs of people not even in my paid thing and they're saying my videos are helping like um, it's just it's great feedback so keep watching these videos you don't always have to comment under them but um, would appreciate some love um, just if you leave a like every video you know so other than that peace out and have a nice evening morning wherever you are and uh, see you guys tomorrow